Welcome back to our Afternoon Express. Kick along. <laughs> we are still in the kitchen with Chef Linda Mnigati and we kick things off with a very decadent and amazing olive, bacon, feta and caramelized onion focaccia. Now, Chef, we are on part two. What's next? Okay, now we are doing my beautiful seafood dish. We are mm. doing a king clip that is going to be served with citrus Ooh. and capers jus. My friend, can yes. you start uh, zesting lime and zesting my orange and then after that you bring the juice out of both okay. and then you my friend can you start uh, seasoning, seasoning my fish you can do like two or three uh, fillets salt and pepper okay and then while they're both doing that I'm gonna put my pen on um, I love king clip it's a salty fish um, yet it's a fish that is full of flavor so I'm gonna have my butter just two knobs of butter it's enough not much yes not much uh, you can use a flat pan if you don't want to use the griggle or any cast iron pan. Uh, you don't want high heat here, but you need a hot pan. So while you're waiting for us, guest chef, I want to touch on something. You've been nominated as GQ's 2021 Chefs to Watch. Yes. How does that feel? <laughs> oh my God, I feel amazing. I feel incredible. It came as a shock. I was here in Cape Town two weeks ago for a vacation. <laughs> and then I went to my social media on Instagram and I saw this tag from GQ. I was like, oh my gosh, is <laughs> this, this is me? GQ? No, no, no. I came in, wake up. And I went to their page. It was me with some of the few talented chefs that we have in our country i was so amazed i'm really really blessed i'm a christian i believe in god so <laughs> i think and i believe this is coming from god Aww. okay you guys you can see my pen is hot now yep. okay just gonna put few fillets i love that i love the fact that you've just always known what you wanted mm. to be and yes. you went after your goals and your dreams regardless that's yes. very important yes Okay, so I've already finished zesting this side and okay. the juice is Fantastic. coming along. Fantastic. Um, let me know if you need more. No, uh, that's enough. Okay, now while my fish is sauteing here, it's frying, I just need that nice golden brown color. You don't want to overcook your fish because fish cooks very quickly. So you don't want to have that dry fish. Your yeah. fish has to be juicy and you keep the flavors. So I'm going to turn my fillets now. Uh, King clip is very fragile you must yeah. even turn it with extra care mm. <laughs> extra because, love yes because you don't want to break your king clip you can even finish your king clip in the oven mm. um, and then also that gives the fish extra flavor okay while my fish is cooking here i'm gonna put my pan on here to make my jus so to start with my jus i'm gonna add a little bit of butter just one knob nice okay and then I'm going to follow up by adding my capers. Capers are very salty. I love capers. They bring that extra flavor. So flavor combination in this dish is amazing. Okay, and then I'm going to add my lemon juice with together with my lime here. Okay, okay nice. And then my zest. Okay. Thank you so much. No, Chef, this lime. Li okay, I'm sorry to put it <laughs> in one, Chef. And then zest and lime. Um, lemon zest and... Um, and lime zest together those oh my goodness the, the flavor combination is fantastic it's out of this world so now i'm adding my honey mm. to give it that sweet taste because now capers are a little bit mm. tangy and now yeah. the, the the honey brings that sweet yeah. taste balancing flavors yes, always balancing like. flavors mm. and then now i'm gonna add a little bit of ground pepper and then I'm going to add a little bit pinch of salt. Not too much because now the capers are very salty. Just for taste. Yes, going to you, Chef. What you say <laughs> to me? Okay. <laughs> no, Chef, I was actually going to touch on the fact that you, you think you're making a jus that's very citrus-based right now yes. for, for fish. And you find that most times when people make uh, fish dishes, it is a citrus, um, um, something citrus goes along with that. Yes. Is there a different type, perhaps? If someone says, look, I don't, I don't really like the tanginess or the acidity of... Uh, lemons or citrus is there another type of sauce or dressing or something that could go with the king you can add um like honey you can add like the the what's this uh, sweet chili oh you can yum. add sweet chili it's nice then you let that reduce together with maybe just one tablespoon of vinegar if you okay. don't want because fish needs that lemon that citrus flavor mm. and what i love about citrus it gives us vitamin c mm. vitamin c boost our immune system you know we're facing a pandemic so yeah. we really need a strong immune system yeah so whenever this 
<laughs> I'm just trying to attack you, you are ready to kick it out. I love that, yeah. I love that. It's always yes. about, you know, not only the flavor in the kitchen and eating and just enjoying with family, but yes. it's also all about what you put into your body because it's as important, you know. Yes. What we put into our bodies feeds our energy, you know, our, yes. our protein. We have to pay attention. Yes, and uh, now my fish is like getting closer to be ready. So mm. to check if your fish is ready, you can actually touch it like this. Mm. If it's still soft, your fish is raw. Mm. If it's hard, your fish is ready. So now it's like medium to hard. Okay, also our sauce is coming nicely. It must have that thick. Uh, you can see it's coming along. It's actually it's from the honey. It's thickening because uh, okay. you don't want to have that runny sauce under your fish. Okay. And then we're going to serve this amazing dish with our coming also solo. I'm looking forward to that. Okay. <laughs> but before we get into all of that, you know, to, at the top of the show, you did mention and shared with us, with our viewers, that you also decided to take your home training. You and your dad used to just bond in the kitchen yes. over that. Yes. But then you backed it up with formal education, you know. Yes. You went to a hospitality school yes. and you decided to get a certificate backing you yes. how important was that for you it's good to have a skill chef it's good to be talented but at the same time you must collaborate mm. it with some education yeah. so you are skilled yes but there are some things that you don't know and I've, I've, I've always telling myself and I've been reading from my uh, chefs that have been there my inspirations mm. that you don't reach a point where you say I know everything yeah. every day it's a new day sure. to start learning everything a, a new something new from a different person from a different chef and I don't take any chef for granted even mm. on social media because you can always learn something True. from someone yeah. so it's always I, I'm always out there looking and checking. Mm. So you, you collaborate your knowledge, your talent with wisdom and education. Those three ingredients, they give you success. Oh, I love yeah. that. <laughs> gilili, gilili. Oh, I'm all for that. I got goosebumps here. And it looks like our our jus is good to go. It's You're taking good. it off the fire. Yes. Looks delicious. It looks I mean, glossy. Thick. It looks thick. It's amazing. It's ready for our King Clip Delights. I love that. So now, as you yes. just, I want to see how you're going to plate this. I think plating is very important, um, especially when you put so much tender love and care <laughs> within this dish. You want to yeah. make sure that it looks as good as you've made it. The plating, we're going to do it when we're done with our ozo salad. We're going to do our ozo salad first, and then we're going to take plate this with our ozo salad. So the ozo salad is going to actually be the bed oh, for okay. our fillet, and then we put our fillet on top of the ozo bed, and then drizzle it with our capers and citrus sauce. Wow. Wow. Coming up, you have promised to put together a salad for us. Yes. So we're going to have that salad um, after this whole vibe that is happening here. Okay. That is going to be our next dish. Very, very delicious. Well, South Africa, stay tuned.